press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss another update. While Hollywood tries its best to maintain its status as a global entertainment monopoly, it looks like one of its largest markets is favoring Tinseltown's biggest rival. India and China are on the brink of establishing a powerful alliance that will have long-term benefits for the film industry in both nations, as well as the movie-going public. Here's our story. Hollywood has been courting the Chinese movie-going public for the last few years to become the main player in the market. A series of blockbuster world premieres held in Beijing was seen as a sure way to realize this goal. Heard stories the mighty Spanish captain was hunted and killed. Asa yo soch ke rota reya ke chora hota to desh ke liye kushti mein gold lagta. But it was the Indian production Dangal that won Asian viewers' hearts. In a country where the female audience is the biggest, it was no surprise that actor Amir Khan's tale of female empowerment. Brought in the big box office receipts. Another release that helped cement Bollywood's position in China was Secret Superstar. This social drama about a 14-year-old Muslim Indian girl aspiring to become a singer shockingly beat the mega-budget Star Wars installation Last Jedi at the box office. Critics say another reason for the smash Indian success is the nostalgia felt by the older generation. The people who grew up on the first wave of cinematic imports from the subcontinent use these films to reminisce about their first contact with foreign cultures. But what really closed the deal is that now Bollywood companies are beginning to sign revenue-sharing agreements with Chinese distributors. And with 41,000 cinemas spread across the country, this pact creates a win-win situation for all parties involved. Well, joining me now from New Delhi is film critic Joginder Tuteja. He rates and writes reviews about Bollywood films on BollywoodReflections.com. Thank you so much for joining us today. Now, uh, in China, the secret superstar beat Star Wars The Last Jedi at the box office. Uh, what was it about that film that earned it so much attention? Uh, yeah, thank you for inviting me over. I believe uh, the best thing that has happened about that film is the emotional connect that it has managed across the entire Asian audiences. Because see, in India also it had done reasonably well. But the kind of emotional connect which the film has, especially because of the child protagonist. Now in China also, there is this huge thing around the family values. And people going against all odds and making things happen for themselves. I think that's the exact thing which connected so very well to the Chinese audience that we had a huge blockbuster. Mm -hmm. Well, women make up the majority of China's moviegoers. Uh, do you think Bollywood's female-centered movies are a reason for that? Uh, I won't call that as a prime reason because, see, there are many women-centric films that are made in Bollywood, but they're not necessarily they revolve around the child protagonist uh, because there are certain action films also made, certain dramatic films, certain thrillers, and so on. But when there's a child element that gets involved, I believe that's something that truly works because it's not just with Secret Superstar. If you look at the other films also that have recently done well in China, whether it's a Dangal or whether it's a Bajrangi Bhaijan, now each of these films had a child as the central protagonist. So I believe A fact to the child, B, the child being a female protagonist, I believe that's something that has worked totally well. Okay, so what exactly has Bollywood done to court the Chinese market? I believe one man who has made it possible is Amir Khan. Uh, in China, we have made Indian films before as well, which had child as a protagonist with a strong women-centric theme in there. But Amir Khan is one superstar from India who has taken the pain to go there, spend weeks and months and months to study the Chinese market, do the right research, meet the right contact, build the right relationship, and then ensure that the film was pitched well amongst the audience. That needs a lot of effort. It needs a lot of time. It needs a lot of intelligence. And that is something that has been made possible by Amir Khan. So we have to give credit to him. Mm -hmm. Well, how big is the market in terms of people? Uh, when you say the Chinese audience? Yes. We are, we are looking at, uh, in terms of, uh, so far, uh, we are reaching out to about five to six crore people in China wow. again. That's a huge country. Uh, I'm not sure about the population, but I believe it's more than 150 crore. So even five to six crore is a very small number. But at least that audience is something where Indian films are reaching out now. This is only going to get bigger with time. 
Well, I'm pretty sure that Bollywood wants to keep a stronghold on the Chinese market. What do you think, what do you think is the next step they should take to do so? The next step is uh, not to just restrict with those films which has got a child female protagonist because then we may be just reaching out to, we may be just exploring maybe three or four films that are made out of 250 plus films that are made in India, which means we have to now look at genres which go beyond that. One thing that definitely needs to be there is the emotional connect. You can't really go ahead and start making action films so that you can reach out to the Chinese audience because A, that are made in China as well, B, there is a lot of that that comes in abundance from Hollywood. You can't really just make films that are centered only with the Indian culture because again, we may be restricting appeal. Mm -hmm. So yes, they need to be much wider in appeal. They need a superstar support as well. You can't have some X person make a film and then go ahead and promote and market and release it. You need an Amir Khan, an Salman Khan, or a Shah Rukh Khan, the big ones, or an Akshay Kumar who is making effort to do that. Because there needs to be A, an emotional connect, B, the kind of subject that has got a pan-Asian appeal. These three films that I just spoke about also worked in China because they had a pan-Asian appeal because China has got a strong support for music, mm -hmm. for sports, and that's something that worked well. So you can't make an average thriller and expect China to brace it up. That won't happen. Yes. Well, Joginder, thank you so much for giving us that great insight. It was a pleasure having you on our show today. The pleasure is all mine. Thank you so much.